Hey, this is Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Excitement, and I thought I'd just jump in and do a quick haul. Yay! Okay, I went to, I stopped at a new bookstore, and I got some books, and I found some pretty awesome ones. So the first one I got is um, Poison Apple, The Poison Apples by Lily Archer, and I kind of did like this cover. I think I like this hand with the apple. I think that's cool. The girl I could care less about, but the hand is pretty awesome. And this book is um, about, it says, Stepdaughters of the World Unite. It's, um, it says, we all know the stories of Cinderella, Snow White, and Rapunzel. But have you ever heard of Alice Bingley Berkerman, Rena Perutri, or Molly Miller? Of course you haven't, not yet. What these girls have in common with their fairy tale sisters is this. They are the stepdaughters of three very evil stepmothers, and they're not happy about it. They think they are alone in their unhappiness until they arrive at Putnam Mount McKinsey, a posh boarding school located in lovely rural Massachusetts. Here is where they will plot their revenge, but first they have to meet. I don't know, it just sounded good. And like the hand carries on into the, um, the front of the thing. So yeah, it sounds good. Um, then... I was pretty excited about this. I found um, The Morganville Vampires Volume 3 by Rachel Kane, which contains Lord of Misrule and Carpe Corpus. And I needed Carpe Corpus to, um, it was the one I was missing, which is always so frustrating. But I found this, and so cool. So I think I have, I have all of them up to the, um, the last one that just came out. So I can maybe start reading these soon. Um, this one was also very exciting that I found. The Pledge by Kimberly Durting. This one, it like just came out not too long ago. Um, and I've been wanting, I, I did want to read it. And it's a hardback. You know, The Pledge. And I got it for, um... They were selling it for like $5.99, and I was like, no way, this just came out. So, this one, it's um, Kimberly Dirtings, it's her dystopian, new dystopian series, and it, it revolves around language. Like, what language you speak is like what class you're in, or something like that. And this main character girl, Carlena, I think that's right. Or is it? No, I think that's right. She can understand all the languages. And so she meets a boy one day, and he speaks a language that she's never heard before. So, yeah, something's going on with that. But, cool beans. And then I got um, The Vampire Diaries, The Return, Volume 2, Shadow Souls by L.J. Smith. And I have the other books, and this was one that I just needed, I, I guess. But, you know, it's cool. It's got the little, I don't know if you can see it, but it's on there. So, it's a big book. Big book. And the words aren't super huge either. So, yeah. But I have, um... I don't watch the TV show, maybe I should, but um, I've read some of her other books. Like, I really liked um, the Secret Circle ones. I don't watch the TV show either, but I like the books. So, yeah. And then I got some books from the library, which are pretty awesome. This one I requested, but I think they already had it. But it's The Girl in the Steel Corset by Katie Cross. This is the first book in her Steampunk Chronicles. Um, just a cool little cover, and it's actually a little book, which is always rather odd, you know? Um, and it just has, like, at the top of each chapter, it has, like, that, and it says, Darkness Within Me, Something I Can't Always Control. If you like a girl with a secret side, you're gonna love me. That sounds good, right? I think it does. Oh, there goes my bookmark. So yeah, I got that. And then one of the um, the cool things that I found this time is really heavy. It's The Walking Dead Compendium 1 
um, Robert Kirkman, Charlie Adler, Tony Moore, and Cliff, Cliff Rathburn. So you can do it that way. You can do it that way. They're all zombies. Um, and it's, you, you know, Walking Dead. It's a graphic novel. And it has, um, collects issues 1 through 48 of the acclaimed zombie hit. So I, it looks pretty cool. I am definitely, definitely going to read it. Because I do like this show, you know. But this is huge. This is so heavy. Ooh. But. And then the one I'm currently reading is, um, it's one from NetGalley. And NetGalley and who else? I don't know who else. I want to say it's, um... Let me check, just so I'm not, like, totally wrong. Because that would be horrible. Or CI. There it is. I know this has to be very annoying just listening to me. Okay. Who's it from? Who's it from? St. Martin's Press. I thought as much, but I wasn't sure. And it is, um... Semi-Charmed Life by Nora Zelovansky, and the cover, I think, is what uh, really wanted, made me want to read it on that galley. It's got, like, this cool, like, watercolor effect to it. So, yeah. Um, it's not bad. It's about a girl named Beatrice, and she grew up with a New York artsy kind of family, and but she didn't do any of that stuff stuff like get into that stuff so she's going to college with and she's going for journalism and it's her senior year of college and she meets this this new girl has transferred to the college let's see Veruca Pfeffernus I think is her name and she's like the it girl of the moment and Veruca comes up to her with a proposition um that Beatrice write her blog for her. So Beatrice becomes like her shadow to all these events. And I don't know, because Veruca's trying to make her way into the art world because she loves anything new. So it's not bad. Um, I wouldn't say it's not something like I normally read. Um, the writing is a little... It kind of reminds me of the writing of um, Candace Bushnell, who wrote, like, Sex in the City and um, Four Blondes or something like that. It's kind of got that kind of feeling to it. But it's it's not bad. I just, there are some parts where they go into lists that I really don't like. Like, it was talking about sauteed, like, vegetables. And then she lists all the ways you can prepare these vegetables, which is okay, but I don't know. I kind of lost interest after, like, the third, fourth sentence of it, and it just kept going on. But, and it comes out, um, July 3rd. Yeah, from St. Martin's Press. So that's it. That's all I got. So what did you guys get in your mailbox, or, you know, whatever, and, um, uh, yeah. See you later.